Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the sun to sea with me, Barden, and Lady Sakurai. We're done in Port Cavendish. We're definitely on our way home, I think. This is a new session, so always kind of a bit of guesswork, but looking at our terror and our hull, I'd say, and our fuel as well, I'd say we're on the way home, so let's leave here. Let's go nice and fast. Well, we can, because one more person lost, and we're going to be down to... Um, only being able to go speed number one which will happen so we have to get make the most of our ability to use the second speed yep there it goes okay question tentacle z is quiet nothing stirs but you saw the moon pale limb of a monster was it there did the sailors leap surely you didn't push her surely and it's only one now Okay, Mango College is still a while off. And we are probably going to have a mutiny or two on the way back, so there will be some reloading. I'm just hoping to be able to get. Oh, there's goes another person. Hoping to be able to get to the next port at least. Oh, now here it comes right on time. 20% and 6%, so let's try that. Right, so, uh, let's start again. Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the sun to sea with me, Barden, and Lady Sakura. We're heading off back home, so... Oh, we lose a person straight away, nice. Okay, so we don't get to lose... I was going to use double speed to get us to the next port as quickly as possible, because with, um, with this terror and our hull and our fuel, we just need to get home as quickly quickly as we can because we are we are going to have a meet me and it, you know hopefully we're gonna we're gonna pass it oh and this guy is gonna come and say hi as well that's not gonna be a disaster or anything yep there he goes okay well, let's turn around and bring our guns to bear oh missed of course he missed Okay, let's make sure we get this time. Then. Oh, we're getting mutiny right in the middle. Let's try that. Nice, we succeeded. We lost one crew, we lost one terror. We did lose two heart though. Now, we've got to make the most of this by killing these guys. Okay, they're going to back themselves into a corner, which is going to go for us. We are going to win the fight. Oh, not if we miss all the time, though. Okay, that was good. Now we're behind them. I think we got them. Oh, missed that one. Okay, let's make sure of the kill. There we go. And look at that, most of our um, hull is gone now. Okay, we can investigate the wreck or we can leave the wreck. Okay, let's investigate. Okay, we opened the cache, we got two supplies and more fuel. The pirate poet made this class popular with corsairs and smugglers. A pity so little remains to plunder. A fishing expedition. The crew manages to scoop up a few crates before the, the sinking ship loses its struggle with inevitability. Okay, we'll open that, and we got one cask of mushroom wine. Okay, not the worst thing we could have got. Now, we need to get ourselves home before uh, 
terror takes us. So we're at 74 terror, so we should be okay. But we need to avoid fights because we lost uh, 60 odd hull there, I think, in just one scrape. So. So this session, I'm probably going to record, my plan at least is to record six episodes. And then the session after this, then probably the same. And I need to, so they're probably going to be close together because I need to record ahead because I'm going back to Ireland uh, for a week at the end of July, beginning of August. And as anyone knows, when you go traveling, you know, We've got a few days around that as well, you know, jet lag and stuff like that on the way when we come back and also just prepping and making sure everything's okay the day or two before as well. So, so it means that I'm going to miss almost two weeks of recording. So I need to make sure that I've recorded enough stuff ahead so that when I come back, I'm not kind of I'm sweating on whether I can actually get videos out of it. So today, as, along with this session, I'm probably going to start... Um, so next, next week, as I record this, this is just coming... Uh, this is the last week in June. And next week is the beginning of July. So in July, I think um, what I'm going to be recording, probably then here, I'd say. But I think I'm going to start recording Moonlighter. It is called, yeah, it's called Moonlighter. Yeah. I want to record that. Um, it's from the guys at Leavenworth Studios. Um, by the time you see this, I think today, will be the the last episode of Frostpunk so I want to play another 11-bit studios game and that seems like a good, good decent game and then I'm also hoping whether I do it or not but I'm hoping to um, start a I'm hoping to start a come on brain Total War Thrones of Britannia playthrough as well. Okay, we're going to distribute some extra rum for this. We lose five terror, we lost one supply, and we lost one crew. Okay, so the one crew at the moment doesn't matter that much because we were already below the threshold for double speed. And, um, and we've got, at the moment, plenty of crew left. Now, if we keep losing people, it could be a problem. Plus, I think going from 13 down to 12 means that we consume less food because I, I believe it's every two crew increase the amount of food that you consume, but I could be wrong. Oh, hi. Now, those guys I'd expect us to kill, but our whole being at 91. You know, there's no guarantee of that. A few well-placed hits by them and a few misses by us and it could go the other way. But at least we made it to the Mangrove College. And... Here we go. Oh, I almost forgot to hit E there. <laughs> if I had it done that, then... Uh, we're taking more hull damage. Let's do this first. We're going to try and get lucky. Okay, we were unlucky. Of course we were. Let's try again. We we're fortunate. Yay. Okay, now Mangrove College. We could pick up a passenger. We could get to say Shady Sword. Shady Sword. Let's get a port report. Okay. Sages, scholars, philosophers, naturalists, poets, dreamers, here to pursue their rarefied ideas in a land of muddy fecundity. All should be well. The thinkers of the mangrove 
college continue their untroubled and sedentary existence. New schools of philosophy are born and die like bubbles. Extraordinary poetries are written in water. The occasional retired pirate tries and fails to get invited to salons. Okay. Now, we could pick up a passenger. Or we could go beachcombing. Let's go beachcombing see what we get. Ships come and go to and from Mango College. Often it's secret. What might they have flung overboard? Take a stroll along the beach. Perhaps the sea has brought you something. We don't want this one. Nasty glob of glue. The remnants of a shipwreck. Okay. Well, let's go for this because it uses up our something and weights. Murgatroyd's fungal crackers. An awful lot of them. One must hope that you enjoy fungal crackers. I have an extremely hungry parrot. <laughs> okay, so I think that's probably... Well, we can still pick up a passenger. I don't see why we wouldn't pick her up. The Vago College, College is named for its scholars and philosophers. They have long abandoned civilized comforts for the life of the mind. Sometimes they want those civilized comforts back. A checkered character. The principles Port Cecil, black and white and silver. Please take me there. Sooner, later, it doesn't matter. I know how complex the moves can be. Okay, so Port Cecil is where you want to go. That's going to be, it's definitely going to be later rather than sooner. And I'm pretty sure we're done there. What have we got in the shop? Nothing. Okay. Let's head off. So next stop is going to be Pigmoat Isle. Nice calming silence. Actually, talking about silence, I saw um, where I think it was a Korean guy. He's got a. I think it's a YouTube. It's either YouTube or Facebook. But what he's doing is he's basically recording himself study in silence, and people are watching it. I think that's pretty amazing. Oh, we got unlucky again. Okay, we got fortunate. So far, we're right under 50 50 for that but yeah the guy is recording himself studying and people are watching and i guess you know everyone has different tastes probably helps so that the guy seems to be you know he's young he's attractive and i'm sure people are just watching it because he's doing it i'm sure someone old and ugly like me did it <laughs> no <one would> watch <laughs> But fair play to the guy, you know. If people are willing to watch and he's studying, getting getting himself an education, then there's not really anything wrong with it. It's just you know, it seems just seems a bit out of the ordinary for me, but hey, we've had um you know, people watching people eating and then there's oh, what's the name of that? There's there's one where people watch it because the person is maybe whispering or... I can't remember what the name of the thing is though. Okay, we're going to look the again. And fortunate. Okay, still on 50-50. But now for me... How many people watch... I'm not going to say it's not important because I'd be lying if I said that. Obviously, I want at least some people to watch my videos, but, you know, I'm not aiming to have, you know, thousands or like tens or hundreds of thousands or millions of people watch my videos. If they did, it would be amazing. But, you know, if if just one person watches my this video, then I'm happy with that too. Because, you know, and that, that's an important thing. You know, if there's anyone out there thinking of getting into YouTubing and stuff, um, don't think that you're going to be some kind of millionaire 
out of it because oh god we were overshot with me prattling along but yeah th don't think that you're gonna get rich out of it because you're not oh good we we're actually ahead of the curve in that as well So like you have to, you have to be, you know, like me where you you just enjoy doing it. I enjoy making videos, enjoy playing the games. Like before I started making YouTube videos, I had all of these games that I wanted to play and didn't because I felt like I didn't have enough time. And I spent most of my time then uh, watching YouTube videos of other people playing um, those games that I wanted to play. Okay, let's see. Hail the United Cavia, the league's most adorable nation scurries around your legs. Sidlak harvesters drag heavy bags of the island's bounty to their silos. Industrious rodents work hard on towering edifices, some of them almost neck high. London will never believe a, I guess, bloody word of this. Well, I must have some kind of, um, what's call it? Filter or censorship for bad words turned on. Let's get a port report. You may as well while you're here. Captain Whispers, the admiralty calls you. So you've heard. At least they pay to laugh at your reports. Okay, and then let's go to the bank within our offer. King Grace Noah and First Minister Edgar invite you and the crew to share a big month's bounty. A meal fit for emperors. You have to kneel at the long table, but don't rise without eating their fill. The other cave is flourishing. None of may laugh at his new neighbours, but other powers have sent envoys to negotiate for Sintelite. Spice soup is followed by glistening haunches of meat, wrapped in tender chicken wood strips. Both are merely appetizers. By dessert, you fear having to be rolled back aboard ship. The Seneschal orders the leftovers delivered to your hold. Cool. So we've got one more supply, we lose some terror. Right, so I feel like we're actually going to make it home, which is great. Let's head off. And the other exciting thing for me as well is um, in our DD group, we started a new campaign where um, James, who James um, is one of our group, and he was a player in the campaign, our main campaign, but he's DMing now um, for a new campaign set in the same, like to run concurrently with our main campaign. And he's doing that because um, to give Adam, our regular DM, a chance to, um, oh, we were lucky again, to give him a chance to play rather than having to DM all the time. Oh, now we're below 50-50, oh, way below 50-50. Finally, I think all of the, we use up pretty much, um, well, we only got one there, actually, so we use more than all of the supplies that we got there. Okay, the more island, we need to go below Crab Cake. But yeah, it meant um, for d d meant making a new character, which is fun because, um, oh God, hello, Jelly Floor. Oh yeah, oh, you are gonna see us, so we're gonna shoot you. Okay, it's gonna take three shots to kill you. You're gonna hit us. Hopefully you got more than once. Okay, we got you. Nice. Okay, let's um, let's let it disperse. Yeah, we got a Z story at that. Good. A face. It looks very like flourishing of years. The grand shrine face of visage. Something about the eyes, the sternness of the mouth. Perhaps only that it stares at the roof. Just as flourishing of years does. Now it dissolves. Cool. Okay, so the mall is kind of up that way a bit. And speaking of D&D &D as well. Um, so our next session is... So today is Thursday. So one week from now on the Saturday 
here's our next session and i think that maybe that saturday is when our first D, &D video is going to go live so i'm going to be very very excited about that and you know you should definitely check it out now let's see a few last supplies we're unlucky of course we were we're fortunate we're not being fortunate if we got two um two fields in a row that would be a little fortunate but right now we seem to be on the wrong side of the 50 50s It's going to be weird as well when D&D &D goes, goes live because we are, we are what, about seven months ahead? Oh, I just got an injury as well. Spend time at that bed is really where you should be. This will heal a wound. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we lose a menace and we lose a supply. Here the wilder airs mingle with the airs of the near reaches. Demol's gate, named for navigator lost above. How did his bones come below? Okay, let's finish this again. Can we do it this time? Yes we can, okay good. And with our D and D as well, I'm very excited to, you know, finally be getting into position to share it with people. Because I've, I've had the footage for a long time, and I did edit the first episode, uh, but I wasn't happy. You know, it was it was okay, but uh, I want to edit it a bit more. I would say, basically, just be more aggressive with my editing. Is probably the best way to put it. Originally, I wanted it to be more kind of more natural with you know because we do, we do a lot of chatting. You know, we're we're a bunch of nerds. Oh God, we need to get away from you. Yeah, we're a bunch of nerds, and we chat about you know um, movies and TV shows, and um, also we all live in Japan, so we talk about things to do with Japan or work and stuff like that and you know I think that those conversations will be interesting but at the same time I know that a lot of people if they're going to watch a D&D &D session they want they're watching it for the D&D &D. so um, but at some point maybe we'll do maybe we'll do some kind of live thing but then there will be a lot of chatting in there okay let's try this again yay we are fortunate okay good now let's go to the Iron of Misery. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.